You know, a lot of times people um, feel guilt in their life and shame, and they struggle with getting over that. People struggle with forgiving themselves sometimes. But you know the beauty of it when you become a Christian, you don't have to hang your head. People need to hear this. People need to understand this because they're broken. They don't need to hang their head because the cross of the Lord Jesus Christ argues their worth. It shows how much God loved them and how much God was willing to invest in their life. Now understand what I just said, invest in their life. There's something we understand, and that is this. You've heard people say, Mary, that's a nice dress. And someone might be real bold and say, what'd that cost? <laughs> or someone say, boy, that's a nice car. What'd you pay for that? You love your kids? Well, of course I love the kids. Well, how, 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 how do you know that? Well, I pay for their clothes. I pay for their food. I keep them warm, you know. I pay the doctor bills. And we come to this conclusion, everything has a price tag. Well, there's a lot of truth in that, isn't it? Everything has a price tag. Well, let me tell you something. Your life and your soul had a price tag. It cost Jesus Christ. His very life. When I begin to think about what Jesus Christ paid for me, a sinner, a transgressor, someone that did not deserve, I deserved absolutely nothing, but yet he died for me. You know what? That grace, that mercy obligates me. Yes, it does. It obligates me to love people regardless of who they are and share Jesus with them. If there's anyone here tonight, we encourage you to give your life to Christ if you've never done that. I believe we've got a house full of Christians tonight. But we know if there was one here tonight that wasn't a Christian, we'd still remind them that to become a Christian, they have to put their faith in Jesus and repent and confess Christ and be immersed into Christ for the remission of their sins. Come to the foot of the cross. Have their sins washed away by the blood of the Lamb. I'm going to close with this. There's an old story I heard. And you know, I think it kind of makes something clear tonight. As I'm talking to Christian people. And it goes like this. It was an eagle flying above Niagara, the Niagara River. It had a keen eye. And it spied something dead on a block of ice floating down the river. It swooped down, planted its feet on that block of ice, began to enjoy a feast. As the ice floated down the stream, the eagle knew his time was limited, and soon the ice would go over the falls. <coughs> but he decided to take one more bite before flying away. But soon he heard the waterfalls, and then he spread his mighty wings, just like he'd always done in the past, and would fly to safety. But this time he found that his feet were frozen to the ice, and he plummeted over the falls to his death. You know, so it is in life. There's a lot of people that have 11th hour plans. They're out there, and you know, they're, they're, just, they're just holding on to this world. And they think they're going to wait for the last minute. Christian, you and I need to do something. We need to remind people that have 11th hour plans that they can die at 1030. It's urgent. It's an urgent thing for you and me to reach out to people regardless of who they are. Let's stand as we sing our invitation. Thank you.